Hi, this is Chris with CCG Sales. Welcome back to my uh, tutorial on how to create star fields, nebula, and special effects. Uh, in part one, we created the star field layer. Uh, I neglected to show you I merged the two visible layers, so now we have the colored stars combined with just the plain white star background. Now we're going to create some nebula. This is actually pretty easy. We're going to use some uh, filter techniques with uh, difference clouds, brightness, contrast, and colorization. Alrighty, so we're going to create a new layer and we're going to use the bucket tool and fill it with black. Okay. Now we go to filter, render, difference clouds, and I'm going to use the key combination to do a f do the same thing a few more times. I don't know what it is in, in uh, Mac, but in PC it's control F, so control F. Do it a few more times. Now the more times you do it, you start noticing these filaments coming out that really add that neat nebula effect. It's also effective for creating lightning as well. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on that in the future. Okay, now can you see these neat little filaments that are coming out, all these little curly cues and stuff? Now when we do some later adjustments, that's going to make some really neat nebula. So, okay, I, I like that. That should work. Alrighty, so now we're going to do an image, adjust, brightness, contrast. We're going to pop out the details. So you do the contrast up, and if you see it's making the white very saturated and, and very blurred out. So we're going to reduce the brightness, and that starts bringing back those filaments. Sweet. See what that did? Look, now look at all these little filaments, these little curly cues and stuff, and it's not filling up the whole, uh, the whole screen. Okay? So let's try a little more, a little more. No, I kind of liked it the way it was. There we go. Okay. So now that we've got that, we've got the filaments, curly cues, the nebula looking stuff. Let's set this layer to screen, again from the first tutorial. Screen basically takes all the black and it makes it see through. There you go, now you can see the stars in the background. Okay, but there are no white fluffy clouds in space, so we're going to have to colorize this. So I'm going to do an image, adjust, hue saturation, and click the colorize button so you can see what you're doing. Alrighty. Now by default it starts off in a reddish color. I'm going to do blue and red nebula. So let's make the first one blue. So let's adjust this till we get into the blue range. Okay, blue. There we go. Kind of like that. Let's give it a little more saturation. Okay. Kind of like let's get a little more bluish, almost tinging on purple. A little more saturation. There we go. Okay. Oh, and the lightness down. We don't want that too too bold because nebula aren't going to be that bright. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, now let's create another layer with my second color of nebula. We're going to make some red nebula. Okay, so again, new layer. Use the bucket fill tool. Fill it with black. Now let's do a filter. Render. Difference clouds. Do control F a few times. Bip, 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 bip. Let's see what we got here. Two more. There we go. I like that one. Okay. And now do image, adjust, brightness, contrast. Contrast up, brightness down, bring out those details. Contrast up, brightness down. There we go. I like that. Not too much. Not too much. Okay. set to screen. There we see it shining through. Now let's do image, adjust, hue saturation. Like I said, colorize it by default. It's going to come out reddish, which is already what I want, so let's just adjust the saturation. Make it a little darker, or a little more bold red. Let's reduce the lightness a little bit. Don't want it too bright. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Now I'm, I'm going to... I want to... Um, edit some of this. I don't need that much nebula filling up the screen because there may be a few other little things in there. So let's go to the eraser. Nice brush size and let's start deleting. I'm working on the blue layer right now. Okay, blue layer. Get rid of the blue layer. Uh, get rid of a little of that up there. A little of that right there. 
There we go. That looks good. Now let's switch to the red layer. Let's get rid of some of this red, some of this red. I'm kind of framing however your artistic license wants to do. I'm, I'm taking out what I'm not really interested in. I mean, artistic license. If you want more, if you want less, that's up to you. Okay, so we got that. Now, what I want to do is merge those two layers. Now, I, I just took the uh, the uh, star layer off, and you can really see where I was doing the erasing right there. So, merge those visible. Merge visible. Okay. Now, if you notice, when you merge visible, it takes takes it back to normal. So we want to set it back to screen again. I don't know how many times I've forgotten to do that. Okay, so there we go. Now we've got the nebula over top of the stars. Now we can do a little bit of the smudge, and I like to get a. Uh, I've got this, by the way, set to the assorted brushes. Uh, there's different brushes you can use for different effects. Uh, some smudgy tools, some splotchy tools or brushes I should say. Let's try that one. Is that one too big? Okay. Set the uh, strength down a little low and let's see if we can get this to smudge a little bit. Yep. don't think I got it up high enough. Okay. I'm going to add little curly cues on the on the nebula. It's, it's kind of in space and it's smooshing around. There we go. So let's add a little, little splooginess to it. Is that a word? Splooginess? Get a nice, a nice uh, brush on the smudge tool and make those nebula a little smudgy. There we go, a little feathery. Okay, let's try this one up here. And maybe one down here. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, not too bad. So that is the end of part two on the tutorial making nebula. Come back on part three and we will Add the little extras, some little highlighting, some stars, some lens flare, uh, and a supernova. Alrighty. This was Chris for CCG Sales. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Leave some comments if you want. Uh, please visit my website, ccgsales-w.ws. That's uh, no www, just ccgsales.ws. I've got a little bit of business proposition you might be interested in. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to seeing you in part three. Thanks, and have a great day.